Hello YouTube. I actually done a semi review about the first two or three days I actually had the ar arcade game uh, with the 512 and 1 uh, PCB put in. And uh, my first impressions was really good, but the first few games I grabbed actually didn't allow it to uh, do two player very well. Um, I've actually got this in the MK3 machine. And it's got a six button layout. And um, I had a hard time getting the PCBs uh, to actually acknowledge three of the buttons and kind of find out it's where I have a kick harness put on the, uh, the machine itself. That the other three buttons, uh, this one, this one, and this one, would not be acknowledged. I also couldn't get this to work. And, and again, it has nothing to do with the actual PCB itself. It was the layout from the actual JAMA board itself. Uh, that I was not aware of that had done a little bit differently. Uh, the jam is still the same, it just doesn't have the other three connectors uh, that would normally go to these three. It goes through another part of the board that links into it. Um, with that said, I had learned that if I mash, I think it was the run or the block button, it was block over here, that it would ground and make everything else work. Again, nothing to do with the PCB board itself. It was just the actual, uh, you know, layout from the Mortal Kombat 3. So with that said, it just took a little while to figure out exactly what was going on with it. Even though I've got a lot of arcade games, I don't do a whole lot of PCB swapping. Um, so that's just something I've learned. Also, uh, the first few games I did play, I mean my little boy played, the, the two-player really made uh, a difference on a couple of select games where it slowed down quite a bit. Um, but after I've had it for a month plus now, and I can honestly say that I have been pretty impressed with the actual, uh, hold on, let me stop this here. So I've been pretty impressed with the actual overall games, even in, in multiplayer. Um, this was game number 512, actually the very last one. And I, of course, never heard of it, never seen it. Uh, incredible game. Absolutely love it. It's called, I think it's Wardener, Wardener or something like that. Um, it's one of the most challenging games I have played in a long time. And when you have, when you're into arcade games and, and console modding and, and, you know, emulations and stuff like that, all seems to kind of go together. You appreciate any time you get a new game that you've never seen. And so many of these games are high quality that I had never heard of. So every time I jump up here, it makes you appreciate what the 512 does more than just just this. It, it gives you games that you that you want to play that you didn't even know that you wanted to play. And what else can you ask for out of a out of buying and purchasing a PCB board than something like that? Uh, Galaga plays better. I've got an actual Miss Pac-Man machine. Uh, in the other room, I have a raid machine, and the raid has a 60 and one in it that I swap out every once in a while. And a uh, little boy and all the kids enjoy Donkey Kong, and so I usually leave it up more so than than my raiding game does. But at the same time, um, Galaga plays better here in the full horizontal screen than it does in the correct vertical screen, playing perfectly. It's just it's just a personal preference, um, but yeah, I actually believe that it plays and looks and is more playable off this big screen than it is in its original format. Um, something else I'll note as well: uh, this has sound, music in the background, stuff like it's pleasant. It's very mono. Uh, it's it's a piano scene. You know, it's something that's supposed to not make you tired of listening to it, and it's okay. But I will say that in my house, I've got. Uh, a little boy here and the babysitter and I think it just about drives her crazy so she'll come in here and I showed her how to mash this to pause it so it wouldn't you know do that it wouldn't make uh, you know the sounds and stuff like that um, <clears throat> one of my favorite things about this PCB board is that when you click on a game and start it that it will personally stay as a dedicated machine indefinitely until you change it and to me that is what the 60M1 is missing off the PCB boards. It looks so generic with just the, the, the screens up here and go down, down, down. That's it. There's nothing going for it at all on the 60M1. 
this one has just become the game that I just cl uh, you know clicked on, and it's dedicated. It's been this game for a week. So, only thing that I can really say that is a, a downfall, if you consider it a downfall, is I'll come in late at night, uh, I'll go in the bedroom, and I hear noises like, "What in the heck is that noise?" It was it would be a game playing that I have never heard of, you know, sound effects or something like that I've never seen in that part of the game. So, other than wondering what the heck that is going on the other side of the house, and after a while you'll learn that it's just an arcade game, you know, running in its uh, a track mode most of the time. Um, this runs at 1024 resolution. Um, if you have a uh, if you use an LCD uh, screen, which I think is fine. Um, when I first did my semi review, which is just a real quick, but when you got 512 games, it, you're really not going to have a good overall feel for it. So I decided that I would take about a month and play as many games up here as I can and and come back to it um, and, and let people know what I felt. Uh, Metal Slugs are incredible. Two player plays great in Metal Slugs. So you cannot knock Metal Slug itself as far as that goes. It, it'll, it'll play the mess out of it. As far as I'm concerned, if, if it plays Metal Slug in two-player good, it's, it's a powerful PCB. Uh, Shock Troopers, awesome game. Awesome game, one and two. You will get a little bit of slowdown in Shock Troopers 2, but not bad. Dungeon and Dragons. My cat is attacking the uh, <laughs> train set. What are you doing, kitty? <laughs> In my little boy's bedroom in here. I got three arcade games in. I got two Hyd Hydra Thunders linked together. I don't have on. And the uh, uh, MK3 machine. Um, I personally, I love Mortal Kombat 3. Um, uh, the reason I changed it to this board, well, obviously I wanted to get all the new games, but it just wasn't being used. Um, I personally, anybody coming to the door, I would love to to do you know Mortal Kombat 3. But I like the Hydra Thunders. Is it, even though they're linked together, and I absolutely love them. There's Mario, little weed, Louis, uh, I'm sorry, Yoshi. Um, there's just not that many people that want to play Mortal Kombat 3. They've got to be older. They've just missed the era. Seven year old just only going to get but you know so many plays out of Mortal Kombat 3. Um, so, with that said. This is his favorite arcade game in the house. I got 12 arcade games in the house, and out of the 12, this by far gets the most play now, and it's not just because it's the newest. Um, I'll show you some more games I do have in the house. This is kind of like a little breakfast area. It's my Miss Pac-Man machine I don't have on. There is a Gauntlet Legends that's not on. Here's my Raiden machine. And uh, at the moment it's not on, but I usually run, like I said, the uh, the 60 in one here. But Raiden is flawless. I paid $25 for this arcade game. And couldn't have been more impressed. It, the monitor's perfect. It is rock solid. There's just just nothing I could say any better. To, this is the game on Craigslist that got me started collecting. Uh, everybody come over here and loved it. It was brown wood grain. It looked bad. So I took and painted a flat black, and I just put some little graphic stuff I drew on the side. Um, my Miss Pac-Man machine was terrible. I painted it myself. I have got a grand total of nine hours of painting Miss Pac-Man. And a good deal of that was laying on the side. So I'm very proud of her. She's not flawless, but it's, uh, it's good. So... All right, let's get back over here. Uh, go real quick through here. I did some video footage, a Need for Speed Underground, that is uh, in my house. I paid four hundred dollars for it and got it started. I got an arcade. I'm gonna eventually put upstairs. These were the paints I used. The guy asked me for on the forum. So I got them out and showed them the code, and that's my Arctic Thunder. And me and the two little kids have been having contests on, and here's a, a cruising U uh, cruising world. But I uh, love Need for Speed Underground, a very, very challenging game. All right. But out of all the games I've got downstairs, i got some more upstairs. Out of all the games, the 512 and 1 is by far the most played at the moment. So, for the money 
I, 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 I will say it's worth every penny. Um, if the, a couple of games that I did see that had an issue with, uh, as far as this, the multiplayer, yeah, Wardner is the name of that one, number 512. Um, Tapper is awesome, plays just like it's supposed to. Rampage. I was, I was really looking for World Tour. I was hoping that's what it was. It was not. Uh, but can't complain. It's a classic. There's a, let's see, Paperboy. If you're looking for very primitive, you know, arcade classics, you're going to find it in here. The biggest thing you're going to find is going to be Neo Geo and Capcom. This thing is uh, loaded with awesome, awesome Neo Geo and Capcom games. Um, there you go. Ghost and Goblins. Dessert. There's Raiden. I mean, I will say it has got a bad, uh, in my opinion, not a very good uh, sounds for Raiden. It plays it fine. Um, Space Invaders. They got the deluxe up there as well. I don't know exactly. There's Galia. Again, full screen horizontal plays better than the vertical. So cannot complain with that. I'm just going to scroll through real quick here. Uh, Knights of Valor. Jump Kids. Try to make this short. A lot of games we had fun with uh, are the Hyper Pac Mans. Two player Pac Man where you can actually jump the ghost and stuff like that. Very, very addictive. I'm going to go and scroll them down pretty good here. A lot of games like you would see in a bar top, you know, stuff like that. There is a bunch of them. Almost like what you would see on uh, maybe Android version games and stuff, but there's a bunch of them. This is the one that disappointed me a little. Nightmare in the Dark, um, two player. Me and my little boy really love to play it on the. Uh, well, I don't know if you can see behind here or not. It's a nine foot by six foot screen uh, that I built with a. We had a high definition projector, and uh, we wasn't using it a whole lot, so we decided to put the arcade games here. But we play Nightmare in the Dark on that screen. A lot. Uh, we actually beat the game repeatedly. Single player does fun. Nightmare in the Dark is really the reason I bought it, just because I knew I was trying to get the setup so my little boy would play and get more attention. And it was really disappointing that that didn't work. Not really knocking the PCB board when when you're looking at the fact that, that it runs Metal Slug and more demanding games pretty well. It just goes to show it's it's it may be more of a translation. Iron Man. <coughs> Stuart Super Off-Road. Uh, there's a classic in itself. I remember going to the beach with you know all my high school friends, and that was one of the hottest games in the arcade at that time. So I'm old. Badlands. A little boy enjoyed that. 88 games. It's like an early version of the Wii on the arcade, if you ask me. Innovation. Baseball games. We don't really play a whole lot of this stuff in the middle. Um, street hoops. Really good. Good version of arcade. Uh, Tank Force. Good game. Real good game. There is Super Mario Brothers. Plays just like it's supposed to. Bionic Commando. You know, I, I kind of wondered with Capcom if the name come from Captain Commando. Um, yeah, that's actually a game, and then you got Captain uh, C A P, and then Commando C O M. I wondered if that's where the name Capcom come from. Caveman Ninja. There you go. The Ninja Kids. Another one. These are the good ones here. Starting to get into the better stuff here. I say that because those are the ones that I'm aware of. Um, but there's been so many games that just... 
Oh, I couldn't have been more impressed with it. There's the real Ghostbusters. Played that many times in emulation. Golden X. And of course you can cut the sound off. The music sound can be cut off. Heavy Barrel. Space Invaders Deluxe I was telling you about. going here. Wonder Boy, Riot City. Final Fight's up here too. Of course that was a big reason why I got it. Um, two Crude. Crude Busters. Boys are crazy. Double Dragon. Moon Patrol. Rally X 1 and 2. Missile Command. Mario Brothers. <coughs> Eight Man. I helped one of my friends uh, actually get an arcade game. It's a real 80's Eight Man. And we uh, we stripped it down, and he turned it to a a, a a main machine. It, it was too far gone. It, it was about the best thing he could have done with that one. Robo Army, very first or second game we played the first night we got it. Spin Masters, well worth a playthrough. Top Hunter, Mutation Nation, that was really cool. I enjoyed that one. Never heard of that one before. Willow, classic. Mega Man, Knights of the Round Table. Knights of the Round's awesome. King of Dragons, awesome. Three Wonders, awesome. Nemo, awesome. Magic Sword. Uh, Go uh, I'm sorry, Ghouls and Ghosts. Magical Lord. Blue's Journey. Cyberlip. Ninja Combat, these, these are the ones that you really wanted to get it for. A lot of them is in the middle here. Strider, King of the Monsters 2, played that. My little boy liked that one. King of the Monsters 1, I'm going to have to speed this up. I know I'm taking a while. Viper, Terra Force, now we're starting to get into the uh, shooters. There is a 1945, I forgot what it's called. Let's see, let's see if you can't get on just a second here. Prehistoric Island in 1930. Of course, both of those are good. There's two of them. Salamander. Gradius 3. Gradius 2. Gradius 1. Alright. 1944, The Loop Master. Awesome game. Awesome game. Prehistoric Island 2. Uh, Blazing Star, good game. Here's a screw up, y'all. Aero Fighters 3 is not Aero Fighters 3. Aero Fighters 2 is, but not 3. It's not what it says. I forgot what the other name is, game is, but it's not that one. Uh, Thunder Fox, Aliens, Zybots, Midnight Resistance, good game. Rolling Thunder 2, Missing in Action. Sunset Riders, there you go. There's one worth the money right by itself. Rambo 3, Nam, Street Fight. Shock Troopers 2, three quarter view, incredible. They drop down out of helicopters, I mean out of parachutes down from the ground beside you. Awesome game. Shock Troopers 1, just as good. A classic already, I never even played the game. Metal Slugs, five. All the Metal Slugs play really well. I was disappointed not to see Metal Slug 3. That's my favorite. Um, but we still gotta you know, enjoy it. I've got all sorts of different ways I can play games. So. Battle Rex, Batman. Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles 2. Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. Crime Fighters 2. Dark Seal. I enjoyed that. I really did. Um, uh, my Gauntlet Legends is not working at the moment. I've never played it. I bought it. The cabinet's in gorgeous shape. And, you know, so I'm enjoying things like this. And, and uh, there's The Simpsons. There's X-Men. J. 
Joe and Mac, which is actually the same game, just renamed as, uh, I can't think of the other one I said earlier. Alright, here we're getting into the fighting games here. You get about a hundred of them. There is Final Fight. Here you go, there's a big one. Ninja Masters. Street Fighter. Street Fighter. They got Street Fighter Alpha 3 up here too. That's a big one to me. These are Championship Editions. Turbo. These are all Street Fighters. Alien vs. Predator. Mega Man 2. Capcom. Burglar X. Never played it, but I probably will in a minute. <laughs> I never even knew it was there. Cyberbots. Giga Wing. There you go. How many times have you been to forums where people personally put that as their favorites? Marvel Super Heroes. Versus Street Fighter. Dark Stalkers. Marvel vs. Capcom. Pro Gear. There you go, another classic. I mean, this one here ranks high, Pro Gear. Saturday Night Slam Masters, Street uh, Fighter Zero Three, Street Fighter Alpha Three. I love just watching that game run in the background. It has got one of the prettiest attract modes of any game, if you ask me, for any fighting game. X-Men vs. Um, Street Fighter, Dungeon and Dragons, there you go, there is two versions, the, uh, the Tower of Doom and the um, Shadow over was it, Mysteria, okay, uh, these, honestly, I'm not really into a whole lot of these, there's Hook, Hook is awesome, Blade Master, awesome, love the characters in this one. Captain Commando. There he goes. Capcom. It makes me wonder if that's where Capcom came from. I don't know. The Punisher. There you go, buddy. Michael Jackson's Moonwalker. And the first 20 are King Fighters. Uh, King of Fighters. That's like that. Let's go to uh, 73 again. And I'm going to end this with my favorite. One of my favorite. Um, the track modes. I can see I'm starting to get some, uh, what do you want to call it, uh, gel bars. So it's going to be about time for this Cat Kid. Street Fighter Alpha 3. Yeah, you know, that's, I know I talked a lot, but I, that's my personal opinion is that this board, I think I paid 120 is well worth it. Uh, I couldn't be more impressed with it. Some you don't see an MK3 machine every day. All right. If you have any questions or anything, let me know. But in my opinion, well, well worth a buy.